All right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. Our good friends from Noble stopped in with a few good wines. And, uh, well, you know, Stone Street's a winery. It's been around for a long time. These guys have changed their direction a little bit. And, uh, you know, they're making a higher end, higher quality wine now. The Sauvignon Blanc Aurora, 39 bucks, though. Oof. That's a lot for Sauvignon Blanc. A slight musky note to the white grapefruit and tropical papaya-like fruit on the nose. Juicy melon and citrus fruit showing through on the palate. Really bright and fresh notes of sea salt on the finish. Leaves the tongue salivating for food, but a bit long on the wallet for the quality here, I think, the 39 bucks. Anyway, some Matanzas Creek Merlot up next. And this wine, really long on the quality and uh, short on the price. So a really good value, this Matanzas Creek Merlot Sonoma 2007 which I don't know if that's the current release on this wine, but that's what they showed us. Showing some signs of evolution here, though, is an 07 should with dark plum fruit, fresh herbs, some tobacco spice, and uh, fresh earth. Nice complexity on the nose here. Very smooth and plush wine on the tongue with layers of dark plum and cherry fruit. Really silky smooth tannins, notes of milk chocolate, fine herbs, and spice on the finish. A very good little Merlot at twenty two fifty over delivering there. The Archeno Strado de los Alasalso. Strada Alsasso, sorry, we're familiar with the Chianti Classico from these guys. These guys make a great Chianti Reserva. We have it in the store, and it's under 20 bucks, man, for 06, a great vintage. Wow, really nice little wine. This is like a super Tuscan they do. has a good amount of dark berry fruit, good hand of dark cocoa, black truffle-like nuance of the bouquet. Really rich and endowed here with a distinct Tuscan terroir to the bouquet. Really big and rich wine on the tongue with layers of that dark berry fruit, dark earth, licorice, black spices, dark cocoa, nice spinach, and a really nice depth to this wine, really nice and complex. Should benefit from a little more time in the bottle, this 2007. Excellent juice. And then the Mount Brave Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a, man, great little Cabernet. This is expensive, $79.50, but it's from Mount Beter. And a really rich bouquet of dark currant, black cherry fruit, the good amount of toasty oak spice, dark chocolate, really wonderful richness here on the nose, and really well endowed, and lots of everything on the palate as well. Big and chewy with a fresh, damp black earth, bittersweet chocolate, lots of ripe round tannins. This wine needs a little time on the second even bigger than the first day. Allow all the right stuff here and in proportion. Most excellent juice. And that's what we had to drink with our friends from Noble Wine. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.